ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, back in the gym, another chest day, another push day, should I say, I'm doing a little bit of chest, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of triceps, get a pump, then go find food, that is the common routine on my push days, uh, just for you guys to know, a little update, I am in a new phase of training, new phase of life, new haircut, new pecs, new me, who dis? Look cute. Might delete later. All that bundled up in one video. So uh, basically, I'm doing I'm doing a loose variation of the Power Building 2.0 program by Kaizen that we wrote. Uh, it's kind of a legs push pull, upper lower split. Uh, I'm choosing some variations, and I'm not as particular on my progressions. Uh, just because I'm traveling, uh, I'm trying to do a little bit more conditioning, a little bit more cardio, and a little bit more reps. I'm trying to build up my work capacity in my conditioning. So sled sprints, step mill, uh, assault uh, bike sprints even spin bike sprints, whatever it might be. Uh, but I'm also trying to work on my conditioning and work capacity in the barbell movements or, or just muscular endurance. So uh, I'm doing a little bit more reps. I'm doing a little bit more reps even on my warm-ups. Um, so say, you know, my goal is to do three sets of eight uh, on one of my main uh, horizontal pushes, right, which is like a bench, flat dumbbell, something like that. Uh, I'll do eights or tens with smaller jumps warming all the way up. And depending on your phase, that's a great way for you to get a little bit of extra volume in, a little bit of work, as long as you can still progress on your working sense and progressively overload week to week. It's a great way uh, to make sure you're warm so you're not getting beat up. Um, and two, get a little bit more work in so we can build some muscles because everybody's trying to be a little bit more aesthetic. 2018, 2019, 20. 18, 20, 19, the year of the shreds, the year of the gains, the year the aesthetics are coming back, ladies and gentlemen. And I know I look a little bit pale here, and I know I look a little bit red in the face here. I look a little bit bloated here, but I am getting leaner. Uh, waking up body weights around two, 203 to 205 pounds of body weight. I am about five, nine, five foot nine inches. Uh, and I'm feeling really good. I'm in a good flow I'm mentally. My nutrition's locked in. I'm loosely tracking my food just because I've done it for so long. Um, but I feel good. I feel good. My energy feels good. And my conditioning is uh, not by any means what it used to be, but it's really solid. So started today with some dips. I didn't want to bench uh, one because the benches were a little bit crowded. And two, I did bench a little bit uh, heavier earlier in the week. And so I'm just trying to switch it up. I'm trying to go by feel. I'm trying to enjoy myself in the gym again. So we started with the dips, a little bit of barbell overhead press. I like both dumbbell and barbell to be standing, uh, really focused on breathing, bracing my glutes and my midsection, control myself. Yes, sometimes you use a little bit less weight when you're standing. Uh, it is a little bit more difficult than if you're seated or even on a Smith machine. I, I do like seated dumbbell uh, shoulder press as well, but I try to get after it. Um, lateral raises is, is a common uh, exercise in my rotation. Uh, I like a little machine when I can. Sometimes I'll train at a commercial gym and they got a little lateral machine where the pads on kind of your bicep or your tricep looking kind of jacked right there can we get a hashtag thick boy in the comments below t h i capital q feel look at that tricep popping out we're getting there guys slowly but surely you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm the, not the rabbit i'm not the hare i'm the tortoise we're moving slowly you know, we're moving slowly, but progress is coming. Uh, I really like the feeling of a lateral raise. Once you start to get used to it, uh, you can do them pretty dang heavy and still feel really good. A nice little pump in the medial delt, that center delt, that is what we're going for when we're trying to get our shoulders to pop and kind of that typical V taper that everyone's goal kind of is aesthetically. It's just very pleasing to the eye. When your shoulders, lats are a little bit wider, waist is nice and tapered in. My shoulders and lats are quite wide if you ever saw me in person. It's just my waist. We got a little bit of uh, thickness down there as well. Extra fluff, if you will. And we're trying to figure that out. At the end of every session, uh, I like to do kind of one heavier tricep movement uh, and then one more fluffy tricep movement. So I uh, did some French press there. Happens to be my favorite type of coffee. Go a little bit heavier. One elbow uh, in front of the body, working kind of the long head of the tricep, and then one where the elbow is kind of towards my side. So I'm doing a banded push down. Sometimes it feels great on the elbows. If you're having a little tendonitis, I suggest trying that out. And I just supersetted, supersetted with a little bit of push-ups to get swole, basically so I can go home, take 100,000 selfies, send them to all my friends, and have them hopefully tell me that I'm more jacked than I was last week. That's the goal, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you like this voiceover style. More vlogs coming. I'm heading on the road. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications because we got new videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. 
some food videos coming, which I think you guys will really enjoy. I appreciate all the support. My friends, Salam Mike. I'm out of here. I'll catch you in the next one.